Hi, hello, welcome to MedTube. Today we are going to discuss about skeletal structure of thoracic vertebrae. Thoracic vertebrae are identified by the presence of costal facets on the sides of vertebral bodies. The costal facets may be two or only one on each side. Now let's see the classification of the thoracic vertebrae. There are 12 thoracic vertebrae out of which 2 to 8 are typical and the remaining 1, 9, 10, 11, 12 are atypical. Now let's start with the typical thoracic vertebrae. This is the superior view of the typical vertebra. The vertebral body, it is heart shaped. The spinous process which is usually long. The vertebral foramen is circular in shape. The lamina usually broad and overlap with the lower vertebra, the pedicle and the transverse process. It is club shaped. There are two types of coastal facets in the thoracic vertebra. They are the transverse coastal facet and the superior coastal facet. Now let's see lateral view. This is the superior coastal facet. It articulates with the head of its own rib. This is inferior coastal facet. It articulates with the head of the below rib. This is transverse coastal facet. It articulates with the tubercle of its own rib. The superior articular process. It articulates with upper vertebra. And this inferior articular process, it articulates with the lower vertebra. Now let's see the atypical skeletal structure of thoracic vertebrae. The first thoracic vertebra. This is lateral view. The body of first thoracic vertebra resembles that of cervical vertebra. This is superior coastal facet which is complete. It articulates with the head of first rib. This is inferior coastal facet which is incomplete. Is a demi facet for the second rib. Spine is long and horizontal. Then the 10th thoracic vertebra. This is the lateral view. It resembles a typical thoracic vertebra. It has single complete coastal facet. It articulates with its own ribs, but it lacks inferior coastal facet. The 11th thoracic vertebra, it is the lateral view. It has complete coastal facet. It articulates with only the heads of their own ribs. The main differentiating feature of this vertebra is the transverse process does not have articular facet. Ninth thoracic vertebra. It has only superior coastal demi facets. And the twelfth thoracic vertebra. It has complete superior coastal facet on the pedicle. It is characterized by the presence of horizontal spine. Now let's see the differentiating characteristics of thoracic vertebra. They are the vertebral body, the superior coastal facet, inferior coastal facet, transverse articular facet and the spine. Typical T2 to T8. Atypical T1, T9, T10, T11 and T12. Vertebral body is heart shape in all typical and T9, T10, T11 of atypical. T1 is cervical in type and T12 is lumbar in type. Superior coastal facet is complete and present in all. Inferior coastal facet is complete in typical and is incomplete in T1, absent in T9, T10, T11 and everter lumbar type in T12. Transverse articular facet absent in T11 and T12, present in remaining all. Spine is long in all typical and atypical. 
but long and horizontal in T1, lumbar in type in T12. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.